So first of all, uh, we will discuss what is the microscope. So microscope is an optical instrument which uh, magnifies the small object, which magnifies the small object. Suppose this is a pen. And if you want to see uh, this pen through the microscope, you will see if you will see uh, the this pen through the microscope, then you will get a magnified. Magnified means larger than the object. Yes. You will get the image larger than the object. So your eyes will see the larger view of this pen. Yes. So you uh, have heard about that uh, micro uh, microorganism like bacteria, yeah. virus. Yes. These objects can be uh, with the naked eye. With the naked eyes, we cannot see clearly. But yeah. with the help of microscope, uh, there are yeah. different different types of microscope. With the with the help of the microscope, uh, we can see those microorganism. So, what is the use of the microscope? Basically, it gives us the larger view of the object. Yeah. Or you can say. Of very of very small object, we get a larger image, so that we are able to see the that object more precisely. So the microscope is <clears throat> an optical instrument mm. which magnifies a small object. microscope and optical instrument which magnifies a small object Magnifies a small object yeah. after after that we will discuss <coughs> visual angle this. So before that, uh, you should know what is the least distance of distinct vision. And far distance means uh, near point and far point. There is a term near point of normal human eye, far point of normal human eye. So what is the near point of the uh, normal human eye? Near point uh, for near point, you can use the word least distance of distinct vision. So what is the meaning of the near point or the least distance of the distinct division? Uh, it means that up to which distance, up to which nearest distance to your eye, you can yes. see the object clearly. For example, if I am just watching this pen from this distance, now I am taking this pen closer to my eyes. Now this pen is here. Yes. Now I am watch watching this pen. The view of the pen is different now. Okay, I am taking the pen again and again. There will be a distance. There will be a distance after which your eyes will not able to see the object clearly. Yes. And that distance is known as the least distance of distinct vision, or you can say far point, mm -hmm. uh, near near point of your eye. And for the normal human eye, near point is twenty five centimeter. Are you getting? Okay, so for average human, or you can say for normal human, you say average human. This is the eye of the average human. Yes. 
and so the near point is this at a distance of 25 centimeter near point is this distance the distance is represented by d and far point of the human eye is infinity means uh, you can see with your eyes till infinite in infinite distance you can see the sun yeah yeah sun is at a distance of infinity yeah so means your eyes can see at a infinite distance yes so this is far point infinity after that there is one more important term here visual angle so what is visual angle just wait visual angle suppose you have one object uh, this is the object you have and somewhere here this is your eye this is your eye and here this is uh, this part is basically the front part of the eye cornea and all that yeah and this is the back part of the eye uh, basically this back part is the retina so, yes so retina is like a screen on which the image of the object is formed so visual angle is what the angle subtended by the object on i this is the horizontal line and this object is subtending some angle at i suppose this angle is theta this angle subtended by this object why this object on i is known as the visual angle okay okay is known as the visual angle okay now one more thing is here uh if uh, you are taking this angle so this angle will also be theta why i am saying because if this angle theta if i am drawing a horizontal line like this so yes. this angle will also be theta vertically opposite angle hmm, yeah so basically uh, this is the retina so yes. here you will have image here you will have image on retina so basically the size of the image will depend upon the visual angle more will be the visual angle okay yeah, more will be the visual angle you can see the height of the image is depending upon theta size yes. of the image is theta will increase size of the image will increase so you can say the size of the image is depending upon the visual angle more height of the object more will be the visual angle yeah more will uh, more will be the visual angle and more will be the height of the object you can say okay height of the object is depending upon the visual Okay. is depending or directly proportional to visual angle after that 
मैग्निफिकेशन ऑफ माइक्रोस्कोप मैग्निफिकेशन ऑफ माइक्रोस्कोप earlier also we did magnification so what was the magnification of the lens do you know what is the magnification of lens magnification of mirror hmm magnification means we'll see here magnification in lenses okay so magnification is equal to height of the image formed by the lens divided by the height of the object in front of the lens okay okay so magnification is height of the image divided by the height of the object and there is one more formula of magnification position of the image divided by the position of object v by u yes. position of the image divided by position of the object this is for lens now in case of mirror or mirror you can see the formula of the magnification is again height of the image divided by height of the object yes but in terms of the position of the image and the position of the object here is negative sign so magnification yes. is equal to negative of position of the image divided by position of the so but here the magnification of microscope is in terms of the visual angles okay so magnification of microscope is represented by capital m so this capital m is equal to visual angle formed by final image visual angle formed by the final image and this is represented by beta divided by this is divided by yeah. visual angle visual angle formed by object kept at d object kept at d d what is d d is the least distance yes. of distinct vision or near point yes sir yes. so if suppose uh, see this if this is your eye yeah and if this object is placed at a distance of 25 cm or d distance if this object is placed at a distance of 25 cm or mm. at a d distance yeah. so this angle theta formed by the this angle will be the visual angle formed by the object and that object is placed at a distance of 25 cm from your eye yeah and this is known as the visual angle formed by the object kept at d so this is the object kept at at a distance of d from your eye so this is the this is alpha now uh, these are some basic things regarding the microscope and these things uh, same things we will use in the telescope also because in telescope also there will be a, the use of the visual angle okay after this we will discuss the simple microscope before that uh, take the screenshot should i zoom out yes sir lens Yes, sir. Near that. Now we will discuss the simple microscope. Simple microscope 
is what simple microscope is a convex lens yes. when the object is placed between the optical center and the focus of the lens between the optical center and the focus of the lens in that case that convex lens will work as the convex uh, simple microscope okay so okay. image formation by the simple microscope we already did, did. Uh, you can see here image formation by the convex lens so in case of the convex lens uh, this case will be the case of the simple microscope when the object this object is placed between the optical center yes. and the focus of the convex lens so you will get a virtual image on the same side of object and that image will be virtual and erect yes that image will be virtual and erect and magnified image you will get mm. so so simple microscope is nothing but this is the simple microscope uh, in the simple microscope the, uh, there is a convex lens we already know this is convex lens mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the principal axis of the convex lens. Okay. Now uh, I am not drawing the. I, I have already drawn the ray diagram, so I I will not draw the ray diagram again and again because we have we already did this, so I will explain like uh, this only. Okay. Suppose this is the object placed. Yeah. This is the object placed. This thing is an object. And this object has height H0 or HO, you can say. Yeah. And this object is placed where? Between the focus yeah. and the optical center of this lens. Yes. So this is the optical center of the convex lens. And this object is placed between. Focus, this is F1 and this will be F2. Yes. So where the object is placed between the op uh, optical center and the focus. Now, what happened when the object is placed between optical center and the focus of uh, con uh, convex lens? Okay, so image will form here, we already seen. Yes. Now, for ray diagram, what you will do? Okay, should I draw the ray diagram again? Okay, I can draw also. Okay, so this is the object. Okay, this is the object. Yes. Now we will draw the ray diagram of this object. From this object, uh, what we do in the ray diagram? We draw ray diagram first ray from this object is parallel to the uh, principal axis yes so it will pass from the second focus mm. it will pass from the second focus so it will go like this second ray is like this just on it Second ray will pass from the optical center and whenever a ray pass from the optical center of a lens, it will pass straight. Yeah. Now these rays are diverging in nature. Yes. Do diverging rays will meet? Yes. Or 
No, no, no. They will never meet in real. Yeah, they, reality yeah. in in reality they will never meet. You can yeah. see. Yeah, yeah. This ray is going in this direction, and this these are these rays are going like this. They will meet. If right if, if these rays will go like this, then they will these rays will meet, na? If yeah. these rays will go like this, means they yeah, will yeah. never meet. Yeah. So, in reality, these rays will never meet. But what we will do? We will produce these diverging rays in the backward direction. Yes. So I am producing the diverging this diverging ray. Now I am producing this diverging ray in the backward direction. Means you have to produce both diverging rays in the backward direction yeah. and somewhere. Somewhere here. Okay, mm. these rays will meet. Okay. Some so basically, uh, you can say this is the image. This will be the image. And this is the object, image I. Yeah. And this is height of image. So basically now this object is small, but you are getting larger image and what type of image is this virtual image. Yeah, okay. You have to draw these produced rays with the yeah. dotted line. Yeah. So these diverging rays are meeting when we are producing these rays in the backward direction. Okay. Now we will calculate the magnification. Now we will we will calculate the magnification produced by this uh, simple microscope. So for that, uh, what was the formula of the magnification? The formula for the magnification is this yeah. visual angle formed by the final image yes. visual angle formed by the final image beta and divide by the visual angle formed by the object which is okay. kept at a distance of d yeah, okay. so this is the final image so this uh, your eyes will be here okay your eyes will be somewhere here suppose okay so this image is forming some angle and this is the angle formed by the final image that is that is beta so this angle will be beta angle this okay. angle will be beta alpha we know because alpha is the visual angle formed by the image uh, visual mm -hmm. angle formed by the image when visual visual angle formed by the object when the object is placed at a distance of um, 25 centimeter yeah. Now see, uh, 10 beta we can find, 10 beta we can find, this is HO, this is HO, yeah. this height is, this height is the height of the object and this distance, okay, this distance is suppose UE distance because object is placed here at a distance of UE from the Optical center yes. of the lens. Okay, now see this triangle. This, this, and this triangle. Okay. So in this triangle, if you will find 10 beta, 10 beta you will get HO by UE. Because yes. 10, 10 is given by perpendicular of the triangle, that is H0, yes. divided by the base of the triangle, that is UE. So 10 beta is given by H O by U E, but this beta angle will be very, very small. Okay. This beta angle will be very, very small. So 
if this beta is very very small then for 10 beta you can write approximately equal to beta you can write 10 beta as approximately equal to beta so means 10 beta is equal to h not by e means beta is equal to h not by e because you can write 10 beta as beta alpha is what visual angle formed by the object kept at distance d after this this is alpha no? you can say this is alpha so 10 alpha also you can find this distance is d and this distance will be height of the object so you can yeah. find 10 alpha and 10 this alpha angle is also is small alpha is this alpha angle will also be a small angle this alpha angle is also a small a small angle so you and this is your eye so this object is making an angle alpha which is kept at distance of d so you can write 10 alpha approximately equal to alpha and what is the value of 10 alpha h o by d okay so h o by d you will get now you have alpha you have beta you can find the magnification magnification is beta by alpha okay that is visual angle for formed by the final image divided by the visual angle formed by the object kept at d beta by alpha okay so what is beta uh, beta is this h o by ue yeah so you will put the value of beta here yeah. and you will put the value of alpha here alpha is h o by d and yeah. this h o and h o will be cancelled out so yeah. magnification of the simple microscope you will have d by ue magnification of the single simple microscope you will have d by ue yeah. what is d d is the least distance of distinct division that is yeah. equal to 25 centimeter for normal human eye. UE yeah. is UE is not the height of object. Uh, HO is the height of object, but uh, we have UE. No. So UE is the object distance. You can see what is UE. Uh, this distance is UE distance. Okay. This distance is UE distance. Okay. So what is the magnification we got? D divided by UE. Yes. And D is the, D is 25 centimeter. UE mm. is the object distance mm. in yes. simple microscope. After that, uh, there will be two quick cases uh, for the magnification. First case uh, will be when the magnification of the simple microscope will be maximum. So if the magnification of the simple microscope will be maximum in that case, in that case, the image will image will always formed at a distance of capital D. The image in that case will form at a distance of capital D. Okay, and then accordingly we, we will see. Okay, final image is formed at D for the case of the maximum magnification. So you mm -hmm. will get the final image at D. Now, uh, U is equal to minus U E. Why we have taken U is equal to minus U E? Because the incident ray are in this direction. Yeah. The incident rays are in this direction. But you will measure the object distance from the optical center. Yes. Object is here. So you will move to measure the distance in this direction. Means to measure the distance, you are moving in the opposite direction of the incident rays. Yes. Means this distance will be negative distance. Mm, okay. And also you can see in case of the maximum magnification, your image is forming at a distance of D. Suppose this is the image yeah. forming at a distance of capital D. So this image distance also you will take negative okay. because for measuring that image distance also you are moving in the opposite direction of the incident light. So basically UE will be minus UE, uh, U object distance will be minus UE and V also will be minus D. Okay. 
Now you can use lens formula. This is lens formula. One upon f is equal to one upon f means focal length of the lens. One upon v minus one upon u. So accordingly, you could you can put one upon f is equal to instead of this v, you will put this value. Instead of u, you will you can put put minus u e. So you will have minus one by d plus. This is minus and minus. This is plus yeah. one by u e. So finally, you will get the value of one upon u e. And now, why we were calculating the value of one upon u e? Because we want to find the value of magnification. Because in the magnification, we will wait for one minute for Azan. Okay. Okay. So you will get the value of one upon u e is equal to one. You will get one by f plus one by d. One by f. F f is what? F is the focal length. Focal length. Now simply, what you will do? Uh, you have the formula of magnification. M is equal to d by u e. So m is equal to d by u e. So one upon u e you will have one upon uh, f plus one by d. So you can write d into one upon u e. One upon u e is this. Yeah. And okay. Finally, you will multiply d with this bracket, so it will be d by f plus d by d, and d by d will be one. So it will be d by f plus one. So the yeah. magni maximum magnification you will get one plus d by f, one plus d yeah. by f. So this will be the maximum magnification. Okay, this will be the maximum magnification. Now there is another condition for the normal adjustment of the simple microscope. For the normal adjustment of the simple microscope means when you are watching the image of the object with the relaxed eye. Yeah. With the relaxed eye when you are watching the object. 
in the normal adjustment the image will form at infinity yes so when the image will image is forming at infinity and you are watching that image in that condition your eyes will be at relaxed condition yes now in that case we will calculate the magnification see same same thing the you have to do now where the image is forming at infinity yes so for the normal adjustment for or for the relaxed eye condition final image should be at infinity final image should be at infinity so v you will have infinity and u will be minus u because object is at a distance of minus u e. Yeah. So again, you can apply the lens formula 1 upon f, 1 upon v minus 1 upon u, 1 upon f, 1 upon v means 1 by infinity minus, only you have to put these values in this formula. So the minus minus plus, it will be 1 upon f and one more thing here. This 1 by infinity will be 0. Okay. Okay. 1 by the value of 1 by infinity, remember 0. It is 0. So, so 1 upon f you will get 1 upon ue or you can say 1 upon the value of 1 upon ue you will get 1 upon f so 1 upon ue you will get 1 upon f so now you can calculate the magnification the magnification of the microscope is d by ue and you will have the you have the value of 1 upon ue you can put 1 upon ue as 1 by f so you will get d by f and this magnification is the minimum magnification. This magnification is the minimum value of the magnification. Okay. So there are two cases here for the magnification. Okay. First case is for the maximum magnification. Second case is for the normal adjustment or for the relaxed pipe. Yeah. Simple microscope. Okay. Take the screenshot. Yeah. Then, then. Lens. 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 Now we will discuss compound microscope. What compound microscope? Yeah. So I will draw the ray diagram also for the compound microscope. So I will not use this diagram.
in case of the uh, compound microscope or in a compound microscope, there are two lenses, two convex lenses. One is a small objective lens, another is large eyepiece lens. One is a small objective lens, another is large eyepiece lens. Yes. Sir. Two lenses are there. Okay. So this objective lens have a small focal length, or you can say this objective lens has a small aperture. This is eyepiece lens. This eyepiece lens, as compared to the objective lens, have large focal length. Okay. Now suppose uh, an object is placed here. This is the object placed. This is the object placed. Now this object is placed in front of the objective lens. An objective lens is a convex lens. So this convex lens will form the image of this object. So first we will draw the image of this object with respect to the objective lens. So first ray is parallel to the principal axis. First ray is parallel to the principal axis after passing from the lens. After mm -hmm. passing from the lens, it will pass from the it will pass from the focus. Yeah, focus. So something like this. Yeah. And another ray is passing from the optical center. Yeah, optical center. So first ray is like this. So this image is forming here. Mm -hmm. Good. So this is this is the object. Now first ray is parallel to the principal axis will pass from the focus of the objective lens. Will pass from the focus of the objective lens. Another yeah. ray is passing from the center. Uh, optical center. Yeah. It will pass straight. So both the both rays will meet somewhere here. Yeah. Okay. Both rays will meet somewhere here. Meeting here. No? Yeah. So here the image will form. Okay. Yes. Here the, the image of this object will be formed. So now, after that, what will happen? Uh, this is the objective lens. And this objective lens is large okay this objective lens is large mm -hmm. now this image is formed that is a dash and b dash this image is formed at a position uh, in between this is the optical center of the um, eyepiece lens and yeah. somewhere here somewhere here will be the focus of eyepiece lens will be the focus of eyepiece lens yeah so basically fe is the focus of the eyepiece lens yes. and here is the objective lens uh, the, here is the optical center okay now now this image 
will work as a virtual object or you can say this image will work as a object for the ip lens for the ip lens this is not image this is the object okay okay for the ip uh, so IP. yeah for the ip lens with respect okay. to ip lens this yeah. this is not image this is the object so yes. for this object this ip lens will form the image yeah so we will draw the ray diagram first ray from the object is parallel to the principal axis yes and it will pass from the the focus 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 of the ip lens second focus of the ip lens it will be somewhere here yeah let's say because ip lens is large mm -hmm. is having yeah. large focus yes so it is large and another ray from this on the side will be passing from the optical center something like this yeah so now now you know na when the object uh, ray is passing from the optical center it will pass straight yeah yes what we are doing we are forming the image of this object this is the object with respect to the ip lens yeah so first ray from this object parallel to the principal axis it will pass from the focus of the okay. objective uh, ip lens yes okay. second ray is passing to the from center. the optical center so it will yeah. pass straight now these are the diverging rays you can see this and this are the diverging rays yeah and diverging rays will never meet in reality yeah. so what we will do we will produce these rays in the backward direction mm -hmm. yes so i am producing these rays in the backward direction and we will see where the image will form so basically somewhere here the image will form it will be somewhere here okay okay with the dotted line we will draw so you will get the image here like this mm -hmm. so this will be the final image okay now uh, with respect to this objective lens uh, if we will talk about this distance the distance between the optical center and this image yeah. this will be v not this distance will be v not distance okay because this is image distance for the object uh, objective lens yeah okay image distance for the objective lens okay and yeah. this distance will be the object distance for the objective lens this distance will be the object distance that is u not so i am representing it with u not for u not is what object distance for the objective lens yes now now we are we are coming to the ip lens for the ip lens for the ip lens this distance will be the object distance from the optical center of the ip lens this distance will be the object distance okay so you can say this distance will be the object distance for the ip lens that will be object distance for the ip lens object distance for the ip lens mm, okay yeah now image distance for the ip lens this is the ip lens and this yeah. is the image formed by the ip lens so basically this distance the distance between the optical center of the ip lens yeah and the final image will be the image distance for the ip lens yes so 
So this will be the image distance for the eyepiece lens. We will calculate the magnification. We will calculate the magnification. And magnification of the microscope is given by beta by alpha. Yeah. Hmm? Yes. Beta is the visual angle formed by the final image. Alpha is the visual angle when the object is placed at a distance of D. Now, this is the final image. This is the final image. So, this angle will be beta. This angle will be beta angle. Yeah. This angle will be beta angle. Because this is the angle formed by the final image. This is the final image. And this final image is forming. Suppose your eye is here. So this final image is forming a beta angle at your eyes. That yeah. angle will be the visual angle yes, formed by the final image. Okay, now we know that uh, this beta is a small angle. Okay? okay, this beta is the small angle. Because this object will be very, very small. This yeah. object will be very, very, very small. That is why this beta, this image will be not that large, means this will be also small. So, this angle beta will be small. So, here I have written. Uh, 10 beta can be written as approximately equal to beta because beta is a small angle. So if beta is a small angle, so you can write 10 beta as beta. So yeah. 10 beta, how you will calculate 10 beta? So 10 beta, see in this triangle, 10 beta can be written as this distance divided by this distance. So 10 beta can be written as A dash B dash divided by U E. So 10 beta can be written as means beta can be because 10 beta is beta because angle is small. So beta you can write A dash B dash by U E. Okay. Okay. Uh, after that, alpha. Alpha, you know how to calculate alpha. Alpha is H naught by D. Earlier also I told you. Alpha, this is the object. And this object is placed at a distance of D. And this is height of object. And this is the angle alpha subtending at I. So 10 alpha is given by H naught by D. Okay. 10 alpha is given by H naught by D. But uh, you can write 10 alpha approximately equal to alpha. So alpha you can write H naught by D. Okay. okay. You have beta. Beta is A dash B dash by UE. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So first we will see. Uh, now we have alpha. This is alpha. And we have beta. We have beta. We have alpha. Okay. So we have beta. So I'm writing here beta. Now what is MO I have written here. MO is the magnification of the objective lens. For this lens, for this lens, this is the objective lens. So yeah. I told you there is one value of magnification for the lens. That, that is height of image divided by height of object. Or it will be minus V by U. It will be V by U. Okay. Yeah. So now for objective lens, we can write... Uh, we can write, I'm writing again, okay? So for the objective lens, if you will write the magnification for the objective lens, but uh, magnification in, is given by height of image divided by height of object yeah. with respect to mag objective lens. So height of image is this with respect to objective lens, yes. A dash, B dash. Yeah. So it will be. Divide by height of object. object. Height of object is this yeah. H naught. Yes. You can write AB. This is yeah. AB. This is AB. So height of object is AB. Now there is one more formula for the magnification. Magnification is V by U. 
magnification yeah. is v by u yes so this is uh, this distance uh, this distance will be v means the position of the image and divide by u so this v not you will take positive this v not mm. yeah you will take positive but u not you will take negative reason you know the direction of incident light so it will be v not minus u not yeah after that uh, you can compare uh, this Okay, one more thing. Uh, we we will take this a dash b dash as in, in negative. Why we will take a dash b dash as negative? Because this a dash b dash yeah. is a blow principal axis. So height yeah. of the yeah. image, height of the image, you will take negative. Okay? okay. So that is why a dash b dash you will take negative. Okay. And when you will compare this, this minus sign and minus sign from here will be cancel out. You will yeah. have v naught by u naught is equal yes. to a dash b dash by a b. From here you can calculate a dash b dash. Okay. So you will get v not by u not into a b. Okay, now yeah, uh, you can uh, find beta. So beta is a dash b dash by u e. Now you have value of a dash b dash. This value you have, yes. and the value of u e you will have. So you will put the value of a dash b dash. That is v that is v not by u not into a b. So yes. v not by u not into a b and divided by u e because beta is this. Okay. Now you will have beta as v not by u not multiplied by a b is what a b is the height of the object h o yes so you can put yeah. this as h o divided by u e so beta is this so now find the magnification magnification is beta by alpha so beta is this so you will put the beta v not by u not multiply but divide by h not by u e and what is alpha? Alpha is h naught by d. This is h naught by d. So h naught and h naught will be cancel out. Finally, you will have the magnification v naught by u naught multiplied by d by u e. This d will go in the numerator. So this will be the magnification for the compound micro scope. So this will be the magnification for the compound microscope. You can write. Total magnification of the compound microscope is equal to magnification of the objective lens. MO is the magnification of objective. Magnification produced by objective. And ME is the magnification of eyepiece lens. But why am I have written D by U E as magnification by eyepiece lens? Because eyepiece lens here is working as a simple microscope because mm. this image is in between the focus yeah. and the optical center of this lens and image is forming somewhere here that is virtual image. So basically, Eyepiece will work as a simple microscope in case of the compound microscope. And what is the magnification of compound microscope? D by U E. So that is why we have written D by U E as M E. Okay, so draw this, Let's take this screenshot. And then dance. Okay. Here also, there will be two cases. First case will be the 
case when the max, uh, when the magnification of the microscope is maximum second case will be in case of the normal adjustment magnification in case of the normal adjustment of the microscope okay so first case okay so if you want then i can solve this also but So we can solve this right now. So in case of the magni uh, maximum magnification, final image will form at D. And which lens is producing the final image? Eyepiece lens is producing yes. the final image. Yes. Eyepiece yes. lens. Yes. Yes. So with respect to the eyepiece lens, uh, the object distance. So for the eyepiece lens, this is the object. And this is the object distance. And this object distance will be negative. Why? Because you will measure this object distance in this direction, but the direction yeah. of the incident light is light is in this direction. Yeah. So object distance u, you will take minus u e. Image distance. Image is forming at a distance of D. So image is forming, image is forming on the left hand side. So for measuring the distance, you will go in this direction. And this direction is the negative direction. So according to the sign convention, the, that direction is the negative direction. So you will take D V is equal to minus D. Now, obviously the focal length, you will take the focal length of the eyepiece lens. Now for the eyepiece lens, we will use the lens formula that is lens formula is what one upon f is equal to one upon v minus one upon u okay so one upon f means one upon f e now you have to only put values one upon v is one by minus d it is minus one upon minus u e now it will be minus one by d plus one by u e so we will have the value of one by u e as 1 upon f e plus 1 by d. Now the magnification in case of the compound microscope, just we have find it out v naught by u naught into d by u e. Okay. Okay. V naught by u naught into d by u e. So it will be V naught by U naught multiplied by D and one upon U E in terms of one upon U E, you can put this value one upon F E plus D. Yes. Now you will multiply this D with this bracket. So you will get the magnification as M is equal to V naught by U naught. 1 plus d by f e. So this is the case of the maximum magnification. This is the case of the maximum magnification. Now for the normal adjustment, we know for the when there will be the normal adjustment, where the image will form? The image will form at infinity. The image will form yeah. at infinity. Okay, so yeah. all the values will remain same. So final image is at infinity. So u will be minus u e, v is equal to infinity, f is equal to f e. Yes. Apply this formula, put the values, you will get the value of one upon u e. You will get the value of one upon basically you are getting u e is equal to f e. Okay. The value of u e you are getting f e in case of the normal adjustment. Now you will put in this the formula of magnification, the value of u uh, means u e. So you will have the magnification v naught by u naught multiplied by d by f e. It will become simply the formula of magnification is v naught by u naught multiplied by d by u e. And what is the value of d by u e? Uh, what is the value of u e? F e. Yeah. You can see here. This is the magnification M is equal to V naught by U naught multiplied by D. In terms of this UE, you can put FE. 
Yes. Sir. And this is the formula you will get. Okay. Okay. Sir. So now you can take the screenshot. Lens. 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 One more point I want to write length of microscope. So length of microscope is equal to v naught plus ue you can see this is the length of the microscope this is v naught and this is ue the distance between the objective lens and eyepiece lens is basically the length of microscope that will be v naught plus ue and it will change accordingly in this case it will be v naught plus fe Yes, so you can write that. Okay, now we have formulas uh, for the compound microscope. First formula is this V naught by U naught, one plus V naught by U naught, one plus D by Fe. And this is the formula for the case of the maximum magnification. And this is the formula for the case. Of uh, in case of the normal adjustment, we have this formula. Okay. Okay. So we will solve the numerical. In a compound microscope, focal length of objective lens is 1.2 centimeter and focal length of eyepiece lens is 3 centimeter when object is kept at 1.25 centimeter in front of objective
find a uh, final image is formed at infinity sorry final image is formed at infinity magnifying power we have to find find magnifying power so directly we have formulas in case of now where the final image is formed you can see final image is forming at infinity yes. means this is a case of the normal adjustment and for the normal adjustment what is the this is the case of the normal adjustment for the normal adjustment of the compound microscope this formula we have yes sir so we can use this formula now you not we have in a compound microscope compound microscope see now we will see what is the given data focal length of the objective lens what is given focal length of the objective lens is given what is the value 1.2 cm and focal length of the eyepiece lens is 3 cm this is given yeah means means fe is given and d we know a 25 cm and one more thing is given object distance u not is given object distance with respect to the objective lens is given as uh, 1.25 cm you can see when object is kept at a distance of 1.25 cm in front of the objective means this is the objective now and here somewhere here the objective is uh, the object is so this distance is given as 1.25 cm so this distance you will take negative yeah so object distance is given 1.25 cm but we do not have, have this distance v not so we want we want to find this v not we have u not we have v not we have f not we can find 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u and this is for the objective lens okay 1 upon f not yeah. f not is equal to 1 upon v not minus 1 upon u not so 1 upon f not is we have 1 upon 1.2 cm 1 upon v not 1 upon v not we want to find minus 1 upon u not so it will be it will be negative so it will be minus 1.25 from here we can find 1 upon v not that is equal to 1 upon 1.2 plus it will be minus i know you can do not these kinds of simple calculations yes yeah So when you will calculate this, you will get the value of V naught that is equal to 30 centimeter. Now you can find the magnification. What is the value of V naught you have? 30. What is the value of U naught? 1.25. Yeah. You can take either here. Now you are calculating the magnification. Yes. So you have the value of u naught as a negative value, but you can mm. put here the positive value also. If you want, then you can put in the negative also sometimes. But we are interested in calculating the magnitude of the magnification. So that is why I am putting the plus value only. Okay. Only magnitude. Multiplied by d is 25, f e is 3 centimeter. So when you will calculate this, you will get the answer. Okay, so you will get it uh, will be this will be zero point five. It will be uh, sixty. 
so basically you will get 20 so magnifying power or magnification of the microscope will be 20 so first you have to see uh, from here you will add identify this question final image is forming at infinity yes and that case is for the normal adjustment in case of the compound microscope now in that normal adjustment we have the formula this to calculate the magnification okay now you can take the screenshot <clears throat> 